DAP veteran Lim Kit Siang has urged authorities to investigate whether the literal combat ship scandal is linked to the older Scorpion controversy and the murder of Mongolian national Altantuya Sharibu. Lim also set his sights on two former police personnel who were convicted of Altantuya's murder and given the death sentence. In a statement today, Lim said their death penalty should be commuted to life imprisonment in exchange for their confession as to who had instructed them to murder Altantuya. This comes after two separate audits on Putrajaya's procurement of the LCS reportedly reveal that there may have been a deal between the main contractor and shipbuilder DCNS before the government issued its contract. This was based on a quotation issued by DCNS to Bustet Devil Shipyard in 2010, one year before the government awarded the LCS contract to BNS. DCNS, now known as the Naval Group, is a French-based company that developed the Gowin design for Navy vessels. This was the design approved by then Defence Minister Ahmad Zahid Hamidi despite objections from the Navy as the LCS's intended user. It is also the same company that was key in Putrajaya's controversial purchase of two Scorpion class submarines in 2002. According to an audit commissioned by Bustet Heavy Industries Corporation, the quotation issued by DCNS was unusual and indicated that the deal was predetermined. A similar finding was also pointed out in an audit report prepared by the committee chaired by former Auditor General Ambrin Buang. Altantuya was murdered on October 18, 2006. When Sirul and Azila were tried for the murder, it was revealed that Altantuya was in an affair with Abduraza Baginda, the owner of several companies involved in the Scorpion submarine deal.